I'm Karen Saunders and I'm a member here at Golden Grove Lutheran Church. I'm a foster carer um, alongside my husband and we have three young children with special needs in our care. Uh, I was having trouble with movement. I was having problems holding a pen. Being, I couldn't lift my arms up above my head to put the washing out. A lot of pain and inflammation. And when I got around to going to the doctor, I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. I can lift my hands above my head. I can cut my vegetables. I can hold a pen. And i am got minimal inflammation and um, I'm feeling great. Firstly, faith. You've got to believe. Um, you need to say affirmations. Um, when you get to the point where you might have a little bit of pain, don't doubt, but ask to um, get you through that and just believe that you will be healed. Uh, my goal is to stay as healthy as I can and as mobile as I can for as long as I can. Uh, the doctor told me about three years ago that I'd be in a wheelchair in five years because I won't take the medicines that they wanted me to take and I'm walking around and I'm doing fantastic and they've learnt now just to um, roll their eyes at me and think I'm a bit of a crazy lady but um, yeah, I'm doing fine and they, they, they seem to respect that I'm doing it my way. When I first started to have problems and I went to a rheumatologist, uh, the first thing he said was to take methotrexate and I said, but isn't that going to make me sick? And he said, yeah, but only for the first 48 hours. And I said, but I've got young children, how am I supposed to look after them if I've got to take this, this drug? He said, if you don't take it, he said, all your joints are going to cause you problems. You won't be able to do anything. You'll be immobile, et cetera, et cetera. So I went home and I thought, I'm a foster carer. I've been given these children to care for. This can't be God's plan. I can't lay in bed for two days a week to fight this disease. There's got to be another way. So I looked into uh, prayer healing and through... Um, lots of prayer, lots of affirmations, getting a naturopath on board. Um, I don't take anything now at all for the inflammation. I have a natural diet and I'm, I'm healthy and I'm doing well. And I, I guess the thing is don't give up and don't always believe what the doctors tell you because God is so much more powerful, you just have to ask. <laughs>